Welcome to Hooks Outdoors. We're going to do some fun activities today, so follow me. Thanks for joining me. Today on Hooks Outdoors, we're going to talk about how to make some camp gadgets that are useful around camp and very simple to make. The very first thing when you get to camp that you're probably going to want to make, simple to make and you're going to use it a lot, is we're going to take this piece of wood and we're going to turn it into a mulch. A green piece of tree. You want it approximately from your elbow to your middle finger. And this is about the diameter of my fist at the bottom and a little bigger on the other side. Uh, you can go even bigger than that. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to use this side as the mallet. This side is the handle. So what we want to do is we want to take our saw out, we want to open our saw, we need to find a measurement as to where we're going to start making it smaller. So we want to go fist. so we're going to go ahead and make a mark. Now we're going to go around this piece of log. And we'll go ahead and start that now. You're only going in part way with your cuts because you're just wanting to make this handle a little smaller and easier to handle when you're using it as the mallet. So as you're doing this, you're going to be looking at the saw itself and you get a general idea of about how deep you are by the depth of your teeth and you're going to try to keep that same depth all the way around. We're going to fold our knife, or I'm sorry, our saw for safety, set it off to the side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to baton this down all the way around to make this smaller that we got from the woods while we were out there. We're going to set our knife up to baton. Remember when you baton to be strike the back edge of your knife square. Take your time. As you get close, you'll feel it break. You this all the way around. Put your knife off to the side, out of the way, so you don't hurt yourself. What we're going to do is, you see how this is square, we're simply going to take our knife and we're going to go ahead and we're going to just kind of round things off all the way around, make it a nice handle while we're carving away from our, our body. I like to do it on a stump or a downed log so I have some solid surface so that when I push all the way down, my knife stops into a, another piece of wood like that without hurting my blade. Put the knife back in a sheath for safety. Now, <clears throat> on my mallet in this particular one, I'm just going to leave the bark on it. It's entirely up to you what you do. But as you can tell, this is nice and solid. It'll do very well for hitting around the top of the mallet and what that does is that really helps keep things from splitting and uh, it also just dresses it up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and finish doing around here. We're going to come right back with another project. Okay, next I want to talk a little bit about tent stakes. So this particular tent stake here, 
this happens to be the favorite one I like to make. Uh, this stick is a little larger than your, my thumb in diameter or close to it. Um, it's got a seven notch that we put in it and I use a rounded point. Now this works great such as your tent, uh, a tarp structure, anything of that nature. Now when you start getting into larger awning styles where you have to worry about heavy winds and it's a, a heavier tarp maybe of canvas that you have up in the air, you've got to go with a larger diameter, again the seven notch, and you may decide to put this style of point. Now uh, there is a particular bushcrafter out there, Dave Canterbury, that he promotes this, this style into the dirt. Um, me personally, I will use it on these bigger style, uh, but not on the smaller ones. It is easier to make this, but uh, I still prefer this style. And then also one of his recommendations, Mr. Canterbury recommends that you put this. This one has gone a little extreme, but it does help if the wood's dry, is you slant this with a cut where the seven notch is so as you're pounding it into the ground it won't split at your seven notch okay so what we're going to do real quick is we're going to cut one of these we're going to cut one of these we're going to show you real fast how you can make these so you can use them the next time you need a tent stake so we've already taken the liberty of we've been out in the woods we found a stick again this one's green it's a little longer than that if you uh, if you see here on my measurement so let's go ahead and take a measurement here we'll go to here open up our saw the saw being used in today's cuts and episode is a HME large from bombproof bushcraft So now we've cut it, we'll peel this small piece of bark back and take care of that the rest in a moment. So our seven notch, we want to bring it down approximately two fingers and we are going to cut approximately halfway, not quite halfway really, about a, about a quarter of the way let's say. Okay. We're done with our saw for this one. Let's fold it up for safety. Now, find your cut back that you made for your seven cut. All right, we're gonna place the stick down on our log and that now becomes a stop cut. For making your seven notch. And there's your seven notch, okay? Now, let's take this up here. Just like we did on the mallet, we're gonna round this off and chamfer the top so that when we hit it with our mallet, we don't split it. You'll see that I'm kind of tucking the stick against my body to keep it from moving. Now we're just gonna slowly go around Dress that up just a little bit more around here. Cameraman, get close. So there's our seven notch. There's our tapered top. Now let's put our point on the bottom. Now I do something a little different than some. I'm going to go ahead and measure again. There's a mark right here on this stick that I see. So I actually like to go around like this and make a mark, okay? And what I do that for is that way I know that's where I'm gonna start my knife every time that I'm going to come down to make my point on my tent stake. It doesn't affect the quality of the point it just gives it a nice, nice even aesthetics look. That's the only reason I do it. 
so you just keep spinning around and watching where you're starting at the top where you made your mark now the other thing is you don't really have to make this point like super razor sharp depending on your soils okay there you have this style of steak all ready to go ready to be used ready to tie off let's get ready to make okay so now we're gonna make the larger steak so I have a much thicker about a one inch diameter stick so I'm going to show you this a little bit different as to how we're going to put that angle on because I want you to know that you can do this with the uh, hatchet as well. So if you have your axe or your hatchet with you, so we're going to go ahead and place this on our stump. So there's your pointed edge, your driving edge. If you want to clean it up a little bit, go right ahead. So then the next thing we want to do is we still need that seven notch. So if you don't have a knife with you, you can make your mark with your hatchet or your ax like so. Then you're going to take your knife, start going down into that stop, just like we did before. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and go ahead and make your seven notch with your knife now, just like we did on the previous steak. There's our seven. And again, we're going to round off the top. If you're out in the woods and you're collecting your materials and your branches, you're going to come across every once in a while a branch like this. It actually is growing like this on the tree and you look at it as it's got its branch down here. Its branch hey. So go ahead and cut it and what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a pot holder to go over your fire. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to hook is on. We're going to line that up down to here. We're going to place our knife in a diagonal because what we're going to do is we're going to put an X on here. We're going to take our new mallet that we made. We're going to tap this in. That's going to be a stop cut. Then we're going to do the same thing for our other side of our X. Now you'll notice I'm not really hitting that hard because we don't have to go that super deep. Now we want to turn this part right here into the hook for the bale. So we're going to go into our stop cuts here just like so nice and easy come over here to our other side nice and easy Okay, just a little bit. Now, we need to make this area, we need to go back inside just a little bit to make that hook accept that bale better. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our knife and we're going to kind of do a little bit of a reverse carve and go in there like so 
remember take your time nice and easy nice and slow so you don't cut yourself so you don't get hurt this is a real good time to mention last weekend uh, when I did not take my time and I did get hurt and uh, I did post that on uh, Instagram and Facebook kind of reason we got a delayed videos and we're gonna go right here where the hook is the point I should say a little bit alright let's put it over our pretend campfire for today with our pot and show you how it works so we're saying that we're saying right now that our fire is down here in this area we've placed a simple project over our fire so we just take our new hook stick like so we're going to take our pot with the bale put it in our hook it's over the fire so we can warm it you can move it anywhere you need to off to the side of the fire either direction or right over the center and you're all set to go At this time, I'd like to apologize for the microphone noise due to the wind. Look at these projects and you can see how simple they are. We're going to show you how to make a hygiene station or a washing wash station out of some simple things. This is a stainless steel pet bowl from the Dollar Tree. Number 36 Tard Bank Line. Tard Bank Line is available at bombproofbushcraft.com. Flexible mirror material with a sticky back that I've punched two holes in so you have a mirror. I've got three sticks we're going to make a tripod out of and this is a Bushman zip tie. So let's get ready to show you how to make the tripod quick. Bushman's zip tie. Very simple. Your small piece is a paracord or bank line put a loop on this end which I did use a bowling knot for it doesn't show up very well but it is a bowling then on the opposite end you put two knots one here this is going to become an undo knot okay so we're gonna go around our three sticks with our on the end with the knots we're going to make a simple loop. We're going to come up and through just like we're tying. Now we're going to bring the other side through that loop to lay right alongside the side with the knots. And we're going to start pulling things together here. All right. Now the loop end is the end that you're going to pull tight and you're going to start working this back and forth and you can see our stop knots getting closer and eventually that stop against there and you pull this just as tight as you want to make that nice and tight and now we can take and make our simple tripod. Now we have our tripod together so we're going to set our bowl in here push it in a little sturdy. Now to make this more convenient what we're going to do is cut this branch right here to make this, this will front. be the front of the wash station. We're going to add a stick here and we're going to add a stick up here as well that's going to be for stability reasons and also somewhere to hang our washcloth. All right, while you were gone, we went ahead and put the dish in. You can see we cut this. We added this piece up here and we did add one support on the bottom. We felt it was a little necessary. So now while you're here, I'm going to add a stick in right here.
again we're just using a simple jam knot So we're going to take our knife, cut off our extra. Okay. Now we're just going to add a little bit of final touches here. So it's always nice when you're washing up, kind of be able to see what you're doing, see what's in your eye. This is some mirror material that is made for uh, a repair. If you need to repair your automotive, automotive your car side mirror, if it's cracked or broken, it's got a self-adhesive back to it and uh, it's just a it's an inexpensive easy to pack you don't have to worry about breaking it because it's flexible and I messed up my my knot here fix that okay so you got a mirror No wash station is any good without water. And after you wash up, you always want a wash towel and or drying towel. So there you have your Bushcraft Hygiene Washing Station. I'd like to thank you for watching this week. I hope some of the tips that we gave you are useful. I hope you use them when you make your next camp. Get out there and get in the trees, get in the woods, go have some fun. And most importantly, take a kid outdoors this week. Thanks for watching. Please press the like button if you enjoyed this video. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks again for watching. See you all next time.